a lot louder than her. Yeah. And uh, finally, I, I, I looked in the mirror, and it looked like my makeup, yeah. but it was blood. Alice Cooper is an American rock singer whose career spans over five decades. With a raspy voice and a stage show that features numerous props and stage illusions, including pyrotechnics, guillotines, electric chairs, fake blood, reptiles, baby dolls, and dueling swords. Cooper's considered by music journalists and peers to be the godfather of shock rock. He helped to shape the sound and look of heavy metal and has been described as the artist who first introduced horror imagery to rock and roll and whose stagecraft and showmanship have permanently transformed the genre. The Rolling Stone album guide has called Alice the most beloved heavy metal entertainer in the world. People, and he was talking to me, because I was a prodigal son. Yeah. Remember, I grew up in the church. My dad was a pastor. My granddad was a, uh, an evangelist. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Vincent Damon Fernier, but he's also known as Alice Cooper and the godfather of shock rock. He was born February 4th, 1948 in Detroit, Michigan, making him age 74 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.77 meters or 5 feet 9 inches tall. Alice Cooper's favorite car is a 1963 Studebaker Avanti. Cooper is a fan of both the NHL's Detroit Red Wings and Arizona Coyotes. Cooper's an avid golfer and says that the sport helped him play a major role in overcoming his addiction to alcohol, and has even gone so far as to say that when he took up golf, it was a case of replacing one addiction with another. Cooper, a fan of The Simpsons, was asked to contribute a storyline for the September 2004 edition of Bongo Comics' Bart Simpson's Treehouse of Horror, a special Monsters of Rock issue that also included stories plotted by Gene Simmons, Rob Zombie, and Pat Boone. Cooper frequently refers to himself in the third person as Alice as a way to distance himself from his stage persona. Every four years since releasing his single Elected in 1972, Cooper has satirically run for president. He started dating Miss Christine of the GTOs during the time when his band was signed to Straight Label. The real name of his girlfriend was Christine Fricka, who passed away in November 1972. He then dated Cindy Lang for several years. She died in 2017. After Alice broke up with Cindy, he started dating an actress named Raquel Welch. He then reportedly left Raquel to marry Cheryl Goddard. Cheryl's a ballerina instructor and choreographer. The couple married in 1975 and got divorced in 1982. However, they reconciled in 1984. Together, they have three children, including Dashiel, Calico, and Sonora. In a 2019 interview, Cooper said that he and his wife Cheryl have a death pact, wherein they will die at the same time, sparking a flurry of headlines. But Cooper clarified his comments, telling USA Today, What I was meaning was that because we're almost always together, at home and on the road, that if something did happen to either of us, we'd most likely be together at the time. But neither of us has a suicide pact. We have a life pact. Realizing that's where I belong. There. So we started going to, and it, you know, a lot of people say, you know, I, I came to Christ because my love of Jesus. Initially, Fernier was raised in Detroit, Michigan, and he comes from a family that was closely involved with religion. His father was an evangelist from the Church of Jesus Christ, and his grandfather was an apostle in the same church who eventually became the president. Vincent Fernier was intimately involved in church activities as a young boy, but he was often ill. Eventually, he and his family moved to Phoenix, Arizona, where he attended Cortez High School. At the age of 16, Alice Cooper formed his first band, the Earwigs. The band later renamed themselves as Nas and began traveling regularly to Los Angeles for shows in 1967. After a chance meeting with music manager Shep Gordon following a disastrous gig and another wrongly timed audition for record producer Frank Zappa's label Straight Records, they bagged a three-album deal mostly because of their bizarreness. Their first album, Pretties For You, which was an experimental presentation of their psychedelic rock music, was a critical and commercial failure. 
The band's eventual shock rock reputation was also the result of an accident involving a chicken at the Toronto Rock and Roll Revival concert in September 1969, which had become a sensation in tabloids. The band's most successful album was Billion Dollar Babies, released in 1973, which reached the top of both the US and UK charts. Vincent Fernier, who'd already changed his name legally to Alice Cooper to avoid legal complications over ownership of the band's name, released the album Welcome to My Nightmare as a solo artist in 1975. Despite the album's success, the next three albums of the decade, Alice Cooper Goes to Hell, Lace and Whiskey, and the semi-autobiographical From the Inside progressively failed at the charts, partly thanks to his alcoholism. He returned to the music sphere with the albums Constrictor and Raise Your Fist and Yell, but his 1989 Grammy-nominated album Trash became his most successful album of the decade. His 25th studio album, Along Came a Spider, released in 2008, peaked at number 53 in the US and number 31 in the UK. His 2011 album, Welcome to My Nightmare, made it to number 22 on the US charts. Cooper released his 21st solo album, Detroit Stories, on February 26, 2021. Cooper participated as a judge on the competition TV show No Cover Season 1, which started to be aired on the Sumerian Records YouTube channel in April 2022. Hell was not getting high with Jim Morrison. Yeah. <laughs> Hell was going to be the worst place ever. In fear, I came back to the Lord. He makes money through album sales, live concerts, and brand endorsement deals. In 1971, the singer earned $2 million from two albums, including Love It to Death and Killer. The next year, Cooper added $1 million to his bank account, thanks to the album titled Schools Out. From 1975 to 1976, Alice earned more than $3.1 million from albums, including Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits, Welcome to My Nightmare, and Alice Cooper Goes to Hell. He released the album Trash in 1989 and earned $1.516 million from this album. Away from music, Cooper is a film actor, a golfing celebrity, a restaurateur, and since 2004, a radio DJ with his classic rock show Nights with Alice Cooper. He has a net worth of $50 million. Alice and his wife have lived in Phoenix, Arizona for many years on a large hillside mansion. He purchased his current Paradise Valley property for $90,000 in the 1970s and stationed his growing family there. Nestled in the hillside neighborhood of Goldwater Estates, the mansion boasts expansive views and bold, eclectic decor, all in Cooper's signature rock and roll style. Cooper and company may finish the night with a round of games in the Rockstar Studio, which doubles as a recreation room. Some of the highlights include a pool table, a limited edition Alice Cooper Nightmare Castle pinball machine, and a projector for movie watching. The walls are also lined with historic photos of Cooper and stars like Frank Sinatra, Peter Sellers, and The Beatles for guest viewing pleasure. He owns the following cars. A 1966 Ford Mustang, an Aston Martin Vantage S, a 1970 Ford Mustang Boss, a 2017 Ford Mustang, a Porsche 997 GT3 CS, A 
a Lamborghini Gallardo.